Hello beautiful people, let's make chicken in a sal bacolod style. Stick around with me because I will show you how. First, let us make slices on the chicken leg quarters so that it gets some spices in and also to make it easier to cook the inside part of the meat. We will be marinating the chicken, so let's make the marinade. We have lemon, garlic, ginger, lemongrass, any citric or lemon soda or soft drink and I am using Diet Mountain Dew. I have vinegar, ground black pepper, salt and brown sugar. We cut up the lemon grass. and we put them in the blender. We also cut up the ginger and put them in the blender as well. We put the garlic in also in the blender. Then we squeeze some lemon juice into the blender after removing the seeds. We don't include the seeds, lemon seeds, because it tastes bitter and because we are grinding all of these, we don't want our marinade to taste bitter. Then we add the soda or soft drink. It is carbonated and citric. It's got some orange concentrate mixed in this one. You can use lemon soda if you want. We then add salt. Vinegar. ground black pepper and some brown sugar we then turn on the blender and put it on the grind feature to grind everything in to get it So let us now marinate the chicken in the marinade. FYI, if you don't want some little specks of spices on your chicken, you can strain the marinade and just use the liquid part to marinate it. However, if you don't mind the little specks of spices, then just pour it directly into the chicken. And most of it will be cleared off anyway before grilling. So I marinated this one for two hours. Then let's put them in skewers so they won't be falling off through the cracks on the rack in the oven and because it is in skewers when cooked in the Philippines. However, you can of course grill them directly without skewers. I preheated the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit on broil, which is just like grilling except that the heat is on the top. I now got the chicken in the oven. So let us make the basting sauce. We need margarine or butter, ground anato or achuete in the Philippines. I have calamansi or Philippine lime, but this one I got is frozen and in sachets. Olive oil or regular oil if you want, then salt. Salt. 
so we just mixed them all together I had to melt the uh, calamansi or lime so that's put in there melted calamansi melted margarine or butter I put in salt added in the anato, anato powder or achuete in the Philippines then the olive oil or regular oil if you want and we just gave it a good mix so we turn the chicken over to get both sides brown first before we baste it that's basically just sealing the juices in the chicken that's why we brown it first and then we start basting we just dab instead of rub it works the same it is just easier to just dab it so what i'm using as base is the one that we just mixed earlier the red sauce basting sauce so i just dip um, it in there and and just dab it with the basting sauce I'm using a little brush um, right there for the basting. Then we baste the other side as well. You can keep basting when you notice that the meat is a little dry just keep basting until the meat is cooked it took me about 45 minutes to uh, cook this chicken or at least the cooking time inside the oven it was about 45 minutes before it was ready but I kept basting it every time I turn it over I just dab it with the baste So this is what it looks like when it is done. Then we plate them up, mang inasal style for my mukbangers at home. I have a chara or papaya salad, some fish sauce with lemon and hot green pepper. Bon appetit, please hit like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.